Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door on this beautiful early November day here in southwest Virginia at about 2,700 feet. Today I'm going to talk about organisms that engineer their own environment. And I think the first animal that comes to mind when you say an organism that engineers its own environment would be beavers. Beavers will take a stream, dam it up, and create a pond that's perfect for them to hide in, build their lodge, store food, and then they'll build channels out from that. So beavers engineer, modify, create their own habitat, almost like humans do, to suit their needs. Well, a surprising organism that also engineers its own habitat are burrowing crayfish. We usually think of crayfish as living in ponds and streams where you've no doubt seen many. Well, there are some crayfish that burrow in the ground. And this episode is going to be about the burrowing crayfish and some very interesting things about their biology. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. Crayfish are crustaceans, and they're known by many different names. Some of the more common ones are crayfish, crawdads, and my favorite, mud bugs. Crayfish are a popular food in the South, and there are many farms that raise crayfish to meet the demand by the public, and it's a multi-million dollar industry. Ecologically, crayfish have a huge importance in the food web. Over 200 species of organisms feed on these protein-rich, nutritious morsels. Crayfish are detritivores. They feed mainly on decaying plants and animals, so they may capture a live animal and eat it if they can overpower it that walks by. Being detritivores, crayfish play a crucial role in the food chain. They convert relatively inert decaying plants and animals into biomass that can move up the food chain and provide protein, nutrition, and vitamins and minerals to higher organisms. Crayfish are best known in ponds and lakes and frequently seen moving across the bottom in, in creeks and shallow water. Lesser known are the crayfish that leave a body of water and live a solitary life on land. These are called burrowing crayfish. Sometimes they'll live quite a distance from a pond or stream, as you can see here, that these crayfish I discovered under these pieces of aluminum have moved here from quite a distance. I've been watching these crayfish over the course of the year. So this video has footage from various parts of the year from spring to fall. Crayfish have internal gills, which enables them to leave the water for a period of time and keep the gills moist in that internal environment so they continue to pick up some oxygen. So crayfish can leave the water for a time and function adequately on land. Burrowing crayfish will use this ability to migrate from bodies of water and dig tunnels on land down to the water table. These solitary crayfish will live life most of the time alone and they'll go down into the bottom of this burrow where they can have water and then they'll come up for periods of time, especially when it's raining, and forage on the forest or field floor. Crayfish most frequently leave their burrows during the night and on drizzly, foggy, or rainy days. These solitary crayfish will leave their tunnels to breed and collect food. Some of their burrows can reach three or four feet under the ground, and some of them may go horizontally for many, many feet. Little is known about these crayfish because they're hardly ever seen and biologists are starting to take note of them and wondering if maybe we've underestimated the importance and value of these organisms in an ecosystem. One of the things that they do is they bring nutrients from soil that's buried deep in the ground and bring it to the surface. And this enriches the soil and the environment. It's a bit of a bane for homeowners that like their really 
perfect green lawns or on golf courses where some of these crayfish burrowers will build mud towers that extend above the ground. These towers are easily knocked over, but then they also dull the blades of equipment. And for golf course people, it's an unsightly mess. For an ecologist or soil building, it's really great. Crayfish are graded on how closely tied they are burrowing. Most crayfish will burrow to some extent, often to hide under a rock in a pond or stream. And I can see burrows in the mud bottom of my pond here in Virginia. Crayfish are categorized as primary, secondary, or tertiary burrowers, depending on what percent of their life is actually spent on land, or technically in the water table under seemingly dry land. I laid these scrap pieces of aluminum out to act as an attractant and provide extra habitat for amphibians and reptiles that might live here. And they've been very rewarding for me to turn over every now and then and see who's living underneath. So I was very surprised to see these crayfish that had created these burrows, both vertically and horizontally, underneath these pieces of aluminum, where before there was only a mud leafy bottom. I often see these crayfish sharing the habitat with these salamanders, and I never see more than one crayfish under a piece of aluminum, so I imagine they're quite territorial. It was really fascinating for me to discover these burrowing crayfish and see the amount of work that they do under these pieces of aluminum. They've really moved a great deal of soil to create their own habitat in safety in a place where they can find food, gather food, and retreat here to the safety of their burrows. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door and learn some new things about crayfish. And maybe you'll go out and look for burrowing crayfish the next time you're out and about in the woods or field. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a like and subscribe. And remember to check out my playlist. I now have over 230 episodes on various things in nature, things that you're going to find outside your door from insects to fungi, reptiles to amphibians, trees to wildflowers. I try to cover it all, and it really depends on what I find. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.